Hey, I am back, sorry for the delay in uploading videos. I was busy in some other work. By the way, I really thank you for watching my tutorials. Do you have any question related to my tutorials or anything? You can ask me in your own language. I can speak all languages of the world. So, if you don't know English, it's perfectly fine. This time, we will make a simple and smooth, end screen outro, in After Effects, like this. Before we start, I like to tell you, that this video is inspired by Spotlight Designs. Check out his channel, from the upper right corner. Or click on the i button. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am using 1920 by 1080, at 30 frames per second, and make the duration 20 seconds. You can choose according to your need. Now we are going to make a shape layer, for our outro. So go to the tools, then hold and select the shape layer and select the ellipse tool. Make sure that your stroke is set to none, and fill is set to solid. Then hold shift, and start making a perfect circle. As I am making it. And align it to the center by going to the Align option. If you can't see this option, go to the Windows and select Align. I am changing the color of this shape layer, to the white color. Let's rename this shape layer, as Box 01. Then select this shape layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make the duplicate of it and change its color, according to your need. But for this time, I am selecting the red pinkish color. Then invisible the second shape layer, and then place it below the first layer. Now it's time to animate the first shape layer. So select the first shape layer, and press P to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Then go to around 12 frames. And drag the keyframe on this frame. Then switch back to the first frame. And decrease the value of Y position. Make sure your shape is went to the left. And then ram preview it, to see it. Now, we are adding our text, for this outro. I am going with these four words, which is like, share, subscribe, and it's free. Wow! From this thing, I told you to support this video. For creating text, right click on the blank space, and create new text. You can download this font from the link in the description. And I am using the same white color, a first shape layer, with a 103 text size. and place this text layer in the middle. Now we have to animate it. So select the text layer and press P to open position. Go to around 15 frames. And add a keyframe on it. And drag this keyframe a little forward. Then decrease the value of Y position. And again make sure that your text is went to the left. Now RAM preview it, to see the final animation of our text. 
Now select both keyframes, and press Ctrl plus C to copy it, and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then right click on it, go to Keyframe Assistant, and select Time Reverse. Now we have to make more text animation. So select the text layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make the duplicate of it. You can make as much as text you want to make it. Then rename it to any text. And again select all the text layer, and press U to open all the keyframes of position. Then select all the position keyframes of an each layer, and make every keyframe, a bit ahead of the keyframe of the previous layer. So that they are animat one after the other. Perfect. Then again RAM preview it, to see that our animation is performing nicely or not. In my case, it looks good to me. Now the last step is to animate our second shape layer. So select the shape layer, and visible it by clicking on this eye icon. And press P to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Then go few frames forward, and increase the Y value. Make sure, that your shape layer is went to the right. Cool. Then see the preview of this final animation. But wait, there is a problem, my entire text layer and the second shape layer, are already visible. So we have to trim all the layers a bit, except the first layer. And then, what we have to do is, we have to go to that frame where the entire layer is covered. Then, also select all the layers, except the first shape layer. And then you have to press ALT plus bracket. This is the shortcut, for trimming out the layers. And keep in mind, that press the bracket of the direction you want to trim. After the animation is complete. Then you have to select all keyframes, and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now open graph editor, and make the curve something like this, to smooth out our animation. Now RAM preview the animation, and see if you are happy with it. Perfect. Let's add a motion blur in it. Click here to add a motion blur effect. If you can't see these switches, right click on it. Go to Columns, and select Switches. And activate the Motion Blur effect from here. RAM preview this, and our animation is complete. You can download this project file from the link in the description below. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.